the first time I had heard about it was through the NRCS, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and I heard about the new program that was coming out. And it sounded real attractive uh, for, uh, for my programs. I heard about it from our district office, Ryan Forbes. Um, I was into the FSA office one day and he, he caught me and, and asked me if I'd heard about it and I hadn't and he explained it to me and, and uh, we went from there. It all started, I believe my husband, he went and asked at our local office and they're the ones who filled us in and kept us informed about it, helped us with the paperwork got us signed up and explained the programs to us. So it was our county office that did most of the groundwork, I would say. We saw the things that we were already doing that are involved and didn't think it would take a whole lot to, to meet the criteria. We um, pay a little bit more attention to how we feed our cattle. There's one of the, the programs that you uh, analyze how your your cattle are utilizing the feed that they're on and the protein in the feed and other things in the feed and now we know how to uh, rotate them in different pastures that helps utilize um, our natural forage here what we grow naturally is grass that's what we do here <laughs> and it's shown us how to do it better our rotational grazing systems have probably been enhanced we're running two and just getting ready to start a third rotational grazing for the cattle. Uh, the cover crops have been a big part of it. We have, uh, the cover crops have been tough. It all depends upon mother nature and the rain. And this year we got good rain, so we've got really good cover crops coming. The biggest change was I introduced prescribed burning. Uh, uh, before I never would, I didn't even have the desire to even think that burning was a good deal uh, it's a it's a hazard and after I I signed up for it found out and implemented it uh, some of the burning I had to burn two years out of the five and uh, an acreage and controlled burning is is simple and easy if you have a plan and put it together and do it properly I've made uh uh, signed up for five enhancements and the biggest one is no-till or strip-till uh, conservation tillage. Uh, the other biggest one that uh, changed the most was split in application half my nitrogen in the spring and half at side dress and then there's a few smaller ones uh, stock nitrate tests um, and uh, sprayer enhancements boom height that type of stuff. The cover crops that we're planting and we're using for secondary grazing with the cattle have really benefited to help stretch the feed and I don't know if we can see the benefits to the land yet, but there's definitely benefits going into the soil and how you see them coming out is, is tough, but I definitely think they're there. There are more benefits and, and what CSP has done for us it financially it's allowed us to explore better options to produce better, to produce a better product, which is beef. That's what we produce. And it gives you a little bit more financial freedom to, to do things, to do things you, you dream up and go, geez, I wish we could do this. But money-wise, you just, you just can't. It's kind of given a little bit more freedom in that aspect. Kind of opens your eyes to more ideas. You know, to, and also to help wildlife. I mean, because a lot of the pro programs that you do are for wildlife. So you ca it kind of makes you more conscious, I guess, of your surroundings. I think the biggest one uh, was the no-till and the strip-till, uh, especially after a couple of years of building some soil structure. Um, we're seeing better infiltration of water, and then uh, most importantly due to that is less erosion. Um, this spring, right after planting, we had some enormous rains, and for the most part, everything stayed put very well. This place has been farm. My grandfather homesteaded here and started breaking things up, that type of thing. They're plowing up grasslands, put it that way, to farm uh, back three generations ago. And uh, my, my father, 
found out that things weren't going real well and he started sowing it back to grass and I've continued to do that uh, mainly because the land isn't capable of producing crops like uh, it's it's rough land along the Ponco Creek here and uh, it doesn't work real well. Uh, soil health is a thing that's a new buzzword I guess and it's new to me but I, I wish I could understand more about it and that's probably the biggest thing that we're changing here. We're improving organic matter with uh, the grassland habitat now as compared to what we had, uh, you know, one, two percent organic matter on the cropland uh, before we started seeding it back. And now we're up to, oh, four, five percent organic matter. Our precision farming has, has increased. We started out with this program doing variable rate fertilizer and setting up zones and it's just kind of snowballed from that. We went from variable rate fertilizer to variable rate seed and uh, the yield data coming off the combines we're just it's really snowballing and we're using more and more of it. The CSP program has definitely um, improved the soil quality throughout uh, my two counties in the state of South Dakota it, and it can be just measured in little things if, if every farmer did variable rate fertilizer application they're using let's just say 10 percent less fertilizer if you get 60 guys in the county covering 30,000 acres using 10, 10 percent less fertilizer just think of the amount of money that's saving them and less energy be, being used to produce that fertilizer so the cumul cumulative effects of the entire program with the multiple producers is what uh, is the big benefit. CSP gives producers an opportunity to take a look at different enhancements like cover crop, strip till, no till, and it, it gets them out on their land. It gives them the ability to go out and do these practices and, and take a look at what's actually going on out there. Um, they'll start to see their soil health, their soil structure become more stable. Their organic matter, when they're doing their soil testing, they'll see the numbers rise in their organic matter over time. The infiltration rate, when it rains, um, being able to get all the, so all the water into the ground. The land itself seems more supportive of the larger machinery where the compaction and rutting around, if it's a wet, wet fall or something like that, it doesn't, it's not a big deal to them where they can go out there and they can combine and not tear their field up. The other thing is, if it does rain when you're combining, what they've told me is that they can go out the next day and a lot of their neighbors aren't um, combining. And it doesn't sound like a big deal, just a one day in time, but if you're the only one combining and there's a long line at the elevator, that's a huge deal to, to get your crop out of the ground. So CSP gives producers a, an, an opportunity to learn about their soil and soil structure and soil health and about different conservation practices or enhancements and it, it'll take the risk, the financial risk off it a little bit by supplementing the, with the payment. I think if, if you're a good producer and you're a good steward of the land, you're doing a lot of the practices anyway. It's just a win-win situation. Yeah, do you have to do things, other practices, and does it take time? Yes, but for the benefit you get back, it's well worth it. I mean, it really benefits your whole operation, your land, the species of animals on your land, your actual cattle, and if you're into farming, your crops. I mean, it's all designed to benefit you as a producer, so why you wouldn't utilize it, I, I don't have an idea why you wouldn't do that. I would recommend it to anybody, anybody. I think the biggest reason is it just gives them an opportunity to try some new things if they're, if they're willing and open-minded to try them. Um, it gives you some benefits of, of offsetting a cost. For me, the biggest one is strip tilling and hiring somebody to do strip till and uh, helping to offset the cost. Um, so it gives you a chance to try it without incurring the entire amount. We don't own this land. We're, we're just here to use it for a while. And probably the biggest thing is, is if we leave it in a better condition for the next generation, and that's what we're trying to do here, uh, 
is is probably the best thing in programs and finding out about things of the 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 technical things that go along with improving habitat and vegetation that's the biggest thing uh, that i think uh, is is worthwhile for our folks here